Do you sometimes feel inadequate? Insufficient? Is everyone around you showing off their marvelous superpowers while your own abilities lack energy, elegance, and spirit? Are you looking for your place in the world full of superheroes and supervillains? Don't worry, friend. We have a solution for you. Visit Sidekick High. In our state-certified four-year program, we'll teach you how to compensate for your lack of power in compelling classes like 100 Places to Hide During the Final Boss Fight or Latex, Rubber, Light Metal, the 101 of keeping your hero's cape clean. And finally, after graduation, you take your place as the right hand of somebody that actually matters. Who knows, maybe he'll save the universe while you cover his back, copying his autograph cards. Why are you still hesitating? Apply for our qualifying team right now. Sidekick High, worst heroes, best choice. Candidates, you have successfully passed the first two rounds of the qualification test. <laughs> We've successfully passed? You nearly killed us! <gasps> But you survived! At least until this point. Believe me, we are just as surprised about it as you are. You can't do this to us. We're human beings. We have rights. I hate to disagree, but you don't. Next time you sign anything, make sure you read the small print. <laughs> In case you manage to retrieve your glasses till then, that is. <laughs> hey, I lost them while fighting that snake-headed bear you set on us. Well, isn't she lovely, our little Miss Typewriter? Hmm. Just love. Anyway, since we've already tested your strength and your velocity, the third and final test will be one for your brain. The rules are simple. You are split up into two teams, and each team is locked up inside a room. The team that escapes this room first is the winner, and thus allowed to attend Sidekick High. And... What about the other team? Well, floaty one. Our snake-headed bear is still hungry. Grab you little red shirt. He just can't get enough. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, in case none of the teams gets out within 60 minutes, we kill you all! All right, you right. Pet ass, purple hair, and dwarf with a blue shirt, you are in room number one. Afro man, Matissa, and dwarf with a red shirt, you are in team number two. Wait, you can't separate me and my brother? I can, and I will. Teaching twins is terrible. It takes ages to tell them apart. Say goodbye to each other, boys. <laughs> no! No! I have to find a way to get out of here and help my brother escape. I can't open it. It's secured with two different locks. The only thing that's between me and my dream to be part of the superhero world. I can't open it with my bare hands. I wish I had some cool laser vision skills so I could simply melt it. Hypnotizing. Hey there, Sunshine. If this is a joke, I don't think it's funny. Barf me out. I just want to cheer you up. Why so grim? Because of everything. I don't want to go to this stupid private school. I'm only here because my parents made me go. And now I'm even getting killed. Oh. Okay. I... See? I'm Daryl, by the way. I'm Terry. That's a pretty nice name. Yeah? What do you know? Can you imagine what it feels like to have parents who call you Terry and then perform these sick experiments on you where they make you a goddamn human coffee machine so you can have a career at some lame office and then they start calling you secretary? I just wanted to make conversation. 
So that's your superpower? Spitting coffee? Oh, that's only half of the gift my folks gave me for the office job. There's also a bright light shooting out of my eyes so I can, with special lenses or glasses, be used as a human overhead projector as well. You don't seem very happy about this. Of course not. My parents didn't leave me any choice. I don't want a job in the freaking office. Let me tell you something. When we get out of here, we won't give a damn about what our parents or teachers say. We'll be heroes ourselves and choose our own path. That doesn't sound too bad. What about you? What's your ability? That's a little hard to explain. Try me. Me and my brother, he's in the room next door, we're somehow connected to... to higher beings from another dimension. Sometimes it seems like they control us, tell us what to do and what to say. How do they do that? They're watching our every move on a screen. Oh, okay, that's uh, really hard to explain. Freak. I have to stay focused while trying to get us out. Would you pour me a coffee? Oh, sure. I mean, I should get used to it. This is what the rest of my miserable life will be like. Do you have a cup? Can you demonstrate the overhead projector vision you told me about? I'm afraid I can't. The light is much too bright to set it free without sunglasses, and I lost mine during the other tests. See you later. Hey man, what's up? I rose fast enough for me to win this is or number. Okay. I think I'll have to find a way to understand what he's saying. Do you mind if I take the voice recorder? Go ahead. I can't use it anyway. The battery's almost empty. Hey, that's funny. Damn, it seems like the battery's empty. Yeah, that's what I just said. It's working again. This is Rubber Boy, the sidekick of Lady Whip and a legendary former student of Sidekick High. Even though he died while serving as a net in the League of Liberty's annual volleyball tournament years ago, they say you can sometimes still hear his suit squeaking in the halls at night. Creepy. I don't want to do this. I can't reach it from here. A lamp! It's turned on. It's Captain Omega's autobiography, The Awesomeness of Being Me. I don't want to do this. Seems like this cupboard is some kind of high-tech lock. I can't open it. It is secured with some sort of high-tech lock. Seems like this cupboard is some kind of high-tech lock. There's something written on it. I don't want to do this. Everybody knows it. Everybody hates it. I don't have time for this. I can't clean it without proper cleaning equipment. If only Aquaman, the greatest of all useless heroes, was here. Let's see if that works. Worf, man, those need What are you doing there, bro? Hey, it worked. Wait, you've understood what I said? You're a genius. Why are you talking so weird? It's not weird, man. It's backwards. I don't exactly know why. I've been talking like this for as long as I can remember. Is that the only power you have? Not at all, my friend. <clears throat> You're standing in front of can walk partially through walls, man. Catchy. Isn't it? 
You know the superheroes who smoothly move through concrete, metal, and adamantium as if they were nothing? Of course I do. Well, I can only, uh, partially through wall, as the, na the name says. Well, it still sounds some sort of cool to me. Cool? I didn't feel cool at all when I stuck my head into the girls' locker room and couldn't pull it out the wall when they noticed me. Okay, maybe that's not a good example. Uh, the point is, my abilities are totally useless. I don't think so. I've got an idea. If I give you something, can you stick your arm into the other room and give it to my brother? I guess so. Let's try this. Give me anything you like and I'll take it to your bro, bro. Have you ever thought about changing that superhero name of yours? Changing it? How should I call myself then? I'm still thinking about that locker room situation. What about Creep? Forget about it. I actually think your way of talking is pretty cool. What do you think about Rewind? Hmm. Rewind's pretty rad, bro. Watch out, world! This is Rewind! Overcoming the borders of malice and injustice! Partially. See ya, man. What do you want me to do, shake it? There's a hand coming through the wall. I wonder if my brother has anything to do with this. I can't do this. I can see the other room. There's my brother and two other freaks. Look what I found! Who am I talking to? Look what I found! A pair of red shimmering sunglasses. A pair of green shimmering sunglasses. A pair of blue shimmering sunglasses. Hypnotizing. I'm gonna crush the tiny beast and the key will be mine. Come to daddy. Hey, stay here! Why does everything I want to kill always run away from me? The only thing that's between me and my dream to be part of the superhero world. It's a poster of Ratman and Bobbin! Na 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 Ratman! Are you gonna say something or are you just going to stand there and stare at me? Hello? Anybody home? I... you... am... I'm just joking, sweetie. I'm used to boys reacting to me like this. I'm Slugga Bella, but you can call me Bella. I'm... duh... 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 Nice to meet you, duh. Mm, duh, excuse me, you're staring again. Are you... are you just super pretty or do you have even more powers? <laughs> oh, you're cute, duh. She thinks I'm cute! To, like, be perfectly honest with you, that's not really how I look. It isn't? No, like, some years ago, I lived a rich and happy life inside my original body. Everything was just perfect. I got, like, straight A's at Critter Middle School, the coolest snail in the class, Slimy Joe. Just ask me out, and I... Wait, snail? You want to tell me that... I was, like, a slug, right? And like totally happy with it. But then it happened. One night there was a big purple full moon in the sky and a were human attacked and it bit me and turned me into that greaseless form of meat. I miss my old life and I miss slimy Joe. Human boys are simply not slick enough. <sighs> the only nights I turn back into a snail are the really dark nights and when there's a big purple full moon. 
We have to get out of here. Duh. But how? If only I could shapeshift into my real body, then I could, like, crawl into the cracks in the wall or climb into the ceiling and look for a way out. When do you say you turn into a snail again? <sighs> the only nights I turn back into a snail are the really dark nights, and when there's a big, purple, full moon. Gotta go. Bye, Bella. Hold out. You too, Da. Hey there. Ah, uh, dude. Don't you terrify me like that. Oh, sorry. I'm Daryl, and you are... Claustrophobic, acrophobic, and most of all, sociophobic, which makes me feel highly uncomfortable about this very talk we're having. But I guess, under the given circumstances, us being held prisoners by some maniac teachers, it won't get much worse. Oh yes, and my name is Gus. But, 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 but my friends call me Greasy G. So everybody calls you Gus. Correct. What are your superpowers, Greasy? I I wouldn't exactly call them this way, Daryl. They're, they're rather super weaknesses. Apart from being afraid of practically everything, I have two things that scare me the most. The first one is uh, women. As soon as I just smell a pretty girl's perfume, I get a terrible panic attack. Luckily, I can fight this fear with a sip of my calming tea. Which I always take with me. What's the second fear? The second fear, my friend, is coffee! It's my kryptonite! Ironically, whereas kryptonite deactivates Superman's powers, coffee activates mine. And this is a bad thing because... Because my superpower is that I break out in a super hard, never-ending stream of sweat. Mm, you're right, that isn't that nice. What's inside that cup? This is my life-saving calming tea. As soon as I get very nervous, which I mostly get when young females are around, I drink it up and the panic is gone. Can I have the cup, Greasy? No way! I need my calming tea! I smell you later. Bella, I've got a perfect guy for you. You do? Who is it? Do you see the nervous kid over there with the bad skin and the greasy hair? His hair is greasy indeed. It is, Bella. It is. And he'd love to meet you. He's only a little shy. He needs a little push. Why don't you wave at him? That's like a great idea. Wait! Is she... Does she wave at me? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, Gus, you practice this with your therapist. Take a deep breath. Take a sip from your calming tree. And the panic will disappear. Ah, much better. You're right, Da. He seems interested. His body starts getting all soaked and wet, just like Slimy Joe's in middle school. I'll just wait till he comes to talk to me. May I get you a refill of your calming tea? Yes! Please! I need it now! Get it! I smell you later. There's no panic written on it. What's a cassette doing up there? I can't reach it from here. I have to stay focused while trying to get us out. Would you pour me a coffee? Uh, sure. I mean, I should get used to it. This is what the rest of my miserable life will be like. <laughs> There's no panic written on it. There's no panic written on it. I can see the other room. There's my brother and two other freaks.
Hey, Terry, look what I found. Cool, new sunglasses. I'll put them on and show you my OHP vision. Is there anything I should use it on? Why don't you use it on that little hole over there? Sure. Bella, don't you see it? A full moon. I see it, but the room is just not dark enough. Hmm, nothing happened. Hey, Terry, look what I found. Cool, new sunglasses. I'll put them on and show you my OHP vision. Is there anything I should use? Why don't you use it on that little hole over there? Sure. Bella, don't you see it? A full moon. A full moon, finally. Do you mind being picked up and put in my inventory? Not at all. Go ahead. Uh, you won't bite me, will you? <laughs> You'll never find out if you don't try. Sluggy, go get it. Sluggy, go get it! <laughs> hmm... It didn't survive the encounter with Slugabella. Now it's dead. And quite furry. I can't believe that's still Slugabella. I mean, in one moment she's like super hot, and the next minute she's that creepy, slimy slug. Hey, I can like still hear you. Oops. I can't open it. Not a bad idea, but it won't work like this. Here's more of your common tea, Greasy G. Oh, thank you so much, Daryl! What a relief! I think Greasy needs another hint. Would you wave at him again? Okay. Is she, is she doing it again? I had to drink from my common tea! Where is my common tea? Wait, that doesn't taste like my calming tea. Is that... Is that coffee? Yeah! I can't talk to him right now. He's busy sweating. It fits.
It looks like there's another graffiti underneath the stain, but I can't read it. The wall is too dirty. I can't clean it without proper cleaning equipment. If only Aquaman, the greatest of all useless heroes, was here. I'll need something stronger than water to wipe away this mess. I don't want to do this. There's something written on it. It's Captain Omega's autobiography, The Awesomeness of Being Me. I don't want to do this. Very soapy soap. This is a dream coming true. I always wanted a bucket full of soapy sweat. Sweet. Now I have my own personal cleaning equipment, and all I had to do for it was cause a perilous allergic reaction, turn a hot girl into a snail, and abuse a dead animal. Simple as that. Now that the dirt is gone, I can decipher what's underneath. Looks like somebody sprayed numbers onto the wall. I can read the one and the five, but what's the first number? I should wait until Daryl has opened his door so we can get out of here at the same time. I can't open it. It's secured with two different locks. Let's get out of here. That's impossible. And still, we're all here. I think that leaves me no other choice than to... Let us all attend Sidekick High? Make us all like the school superstars? Grant us unlimited access to the school medicine cabinet? Terminate you all. Kids, rules are rules. And our world is as it is. As real superheroes can't let a bunch of losers and outsiders sabotage our time-honored rituals. Captain? Go get him! I won't let this happen. Terry, now! That clever little rat. That clever little rat.